China has called on the United States to create a favorable atmosphere for communication between their militaries after a top Chinese military official hit out at the West for stirring up troubles around the world. Now, the comments come as representatives from more than 90 nations, including the U.S., attend the Xiangshan Forum in Beijing. CNA's Olivia Xiong with this report. China opened its closely watched Xiangshan Forum, the country's biggest annual show of military diplomacy, with no Chinese defense minister at the helm. This after Li Shangfu was removed from the post last week without explanation, but amid reports of a corruption probe. With no replacement named yet, it was China's higher ranked number two military official Zhang Youxia who made the opening speech. Even if no countries were mentioned explicitly, the Chinese general left little room for doubt on how China felt about its tensions with the U.S.-led West. The U.S. has previously named China as its biggest geopolitical rival. Global Turning to the issue of Taiwan, General Zhang said this was at the core of core interests for China, warning that no one should deliberately provoke others on major and sensitive issues. 中国军队都绝不答应,绝不收染。Beijing has been angered over warming ties and the sale of weapons by the U.S. to the self ruled island. The Xiangshan Farm is branded as China's answer to the Shangri-La dialogue that takes place in Singapore, serving as a platform for it to air its position on international security issues. The China-U.S. relationship in key focus as expectations grow that a meeting is set to take place between Chinese President Xi Jinping and his U.S. counterpart Joe Biden next month on the sidelines of the APEC meeting in San Francisco. China and the U.S. have stepped up engagements in recent times in an attempt to manage their differences. The U.S. sending a delegation to the Security Forum, although not at the defense minister level. U.S. officials previously said they hoped this would help kickstart some military engagements following a chill in dialogue. General Zhang saying that China is willing to work with all other militaries. We hope that 将继续深化中俄两军战略合作和战略协作，也愿按照相互尊重、和平共处、合作共赢的原则，发展中美关军事关系。General Zhang said China will continue to play a constructive role in realizing international and regional security stability, calling for an immediate ceasefire and a stop to violence by parties involved in the Israel-Palestine conflict. Turning to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, which China has not condemned, General Zhang said the country upholds an objective and just position and supports a political settlement on the crisis. This comes as growing ties between Russia and China were on full display at the forum. Speaking first at the first plenary session, Russia's Defense Minister Sergei Shoigu was explicit in his criticism of the US. He blamed Washington for causing tensions to maintain its geopolitical dominance and said the West wants to expand the conflict in Ukraine to the Asia-Pacific region. But he added that Moscow was ready for talks on the post-conflict settlement of the Ukraine crisis with the West. The Western countries need to stop seeking Russia's strategic defeat. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.